Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be flipping through the artist magazine and it's October's edition, or issue, should I say. Um, I'm doing this on the Readly app, in case you're wondering and you haven't watched any of these videos before. The Readly app is just a magazine app and they have tons of different magazines. This video is not sponsored or in, or in any way connected to Readly, it's just a subscription I use. And um, let's get into it. So on the app also, you can save your current pages. So I'll just turn this into full screen mode. And if you want to save a page, where is it? Um, where is it? Yeah, so if you want to save a page, you see the little arrow at the bottom there in it coming out of a box. You just take that and you can save it to your device. So let's get back to the magazine. Let's just add. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cough. And, and um, also, um, so if you see that yellow round button there with the page at the bottom, um, you can click that and then it will save the page as well. So that's just a note from the editor. Contents, exhibitions, letters, lots of ads. Um, not that, open studios. Nice bit of artwork there. You can see the texture there, colour and light, in conversation reality check, Brian Henderson uses enhanced light and contrasting textures in, a, in his acrylic realist compositions as Caroline Saunders discovers, oh yeah look at that, wow, that actually looks like a photograph and he's done that with acrylics, it's amazing. Look at those pears. They look like you could just pick them off the page and eat them. That's amazing. Wow. I can't believe he man he's managing to achieve that with acrylics. I'll definitely be going back to read that article to see how he's doing that. Painting in the Himalayas, to celebrate an amazing painting experience and forthcoming exhibition of the work completed during their trip, Patrick Cullen, Tobit Roche and Tim Scott Bolton share their experiences. Oh, I'm trying to zoom on that artwork. Nice and colourful there. <clears throat> wow, that's nice. Oh, imagine being in the Himalayas and doing the, doing some painting. It must be an amazing experience. Lovely. Can you imagine the views? They're looking actually looking down at that, painting it. Make a tonal study of the head in the first few, sorry, in the first of a new three part series about painting a portrait. Adele Wagstaff shows you how to use just black and white oil paint to make a tonal study. All the different stages. Try the what if approach. In the second of a series of free articles, Brian Smith advises on how to achieve effects such as atmosphere, distance and focus by adjusting your pigment levels. Oh wow, look at that. I like um, artwork where it's got lighting effects in there. The warm lights in that painting look lovely. Also here, like the atmosphere here, you can really, it's like a cosy, atmosphere that's that's been captured here with the with the colorful table there to bring that as a focal point very nice oh wow this is nice very atmospheric oh this is lovely i love the colors here very nice you see the two women there holding that basket this is nice 
do like these this work painting in pastel this is pastel marine and coastal scenes in the second article in his current series steve hall explores the english coastline where he finds plenty of inspiration for favored subject matter along an opportunity alongside an opportunity to make use of vibrant pastel colors some boats Steve's tips for successful pastel paintings. <clears throat> I have done some pastel work before and it's it's messy but it's enjoyable, it's quite fun. And it's easy to blend as well. Like the, if you use different techniques for blending, if you learn the different techniques for blending pa um, pastels. Still Life of Tulips, follow Julie Collins as she shows you how to use glazing techniques to add depth in a watercolour still life of tulips in a vase. I actually, um, when I do acrylic painting, I actually do use um, glazing techniques in my acrylic painting. I've, no, I've not used it in watercolour though. This would be a nice tutorial to follow actually. Nice and cut lip all right up my street. Painting finished. The importance of collaborations. There are as many advantages to collaborating with other artists as there are reasons to join forces, as Sarah Edmonds explains. <clears throat> Just being nosy on that picture she's painting. That's a nice autumn scene. Let's just add, add, hard, soft and broken edges. Paul Tabot Greaves looks at three main types of edges in painting and explains what they are and how to use them with an exercise for you to try. How to capture a person's character, Carl Nib reveals his process for painting portraits, whether working in oils or acrylics, he avoids making an initial pencil sketch, advising that it can be a fun exercise to go straight in with the paint and gestural marks. Mm, yeah, he's definitely capturing the um, characteristics there. Mixed media. Use nature's art supplies. Anna Blockley has discovered that connecting with nature in woodlands or close to trees helps creativity and to release creative blocks. As part of this process, she makes natural links and incorporates natural materials in her work. Just closing on that. This is nice. This lovely autumn piece. Explore acrylic spray painting techniques. Acrylic spray paints can inspire confidence and take your work in new directions. Robert Dutton shares his approach and working me methods. This is nice. Wow, Lo I love his use of colour. Deep colours here. Wow, that's nice. Watercolour paper choices. Amanda Hyatt shares her experience of choosing and using watercolour paper and advises on how to choose the right surface for your work. I use, um, what do I use? Um, hot pressed, yeah, I do use, I'd probably say I use like a medium hot press. I don't like it, I don't like, um, what was the other one? This one, rough grain, not my favourite medium hot press is quite nice or um, cold press knot I think I, I've got a lot of um, cold press knot I think cold press knot to medium is my preferred 
Asian papers or not necessarily Chinese rice paper. They come from Japan as well as China. <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting. That's an ad. Uh, making their own frames. Did I miss something here? I, I thought that was an ad. Construct your own simple picture frame. Peter Burgess begins a series of free articles about picture framing. This month he shows you how to make a simple pine frame. Oh God, do you know what? I don't know. That whole that whole equipment, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I'd rather just buy one. Less hassle. But I suppose if you're a working artist and you're relying on the income from your art... The most cost, I think the most cost effective way is um, to, to cut costs, obviously, so you get more of an income is to make your own frames and your canvases. Anything you can make yourself, you're obviously going to be saving a lot of money. And definitely on like canvases and things. I know a lot of working artists do make their own frames, frames and canvases. Which I think adds to the creativity of making a painting I mean I'd love nothing more than to make my own canvases and frames but it's for me I'd, I it's oh, just a hobby for me so it's just not practical in my current lifestyle to be doing all of that I just don't have the time I, but I hope later on in life I will you know once the kids are older I'll be able to diversify and do more things like that you know, I'd love to make my own canvases, definitely. Frames, I'm not too fussed about, but if I was selling artwork and I wanted to, needed to cut costs, then obviously I would definitely try my hand at making my own frames. Try your hand at abstract painting. Let Petra Thulken inspire and guide you to embrace abstract painting using, using acrylics and mixed media. Demonstration by my Japanese water lilies. I love that gold paint that's been anything with gold painting I'm I'm all here for. I'm all in. I love using gold in my artwork. Any excuse I can find to add some gold in, I use it. Demonstration expressive abstract. it i think this is it art books here basics of drawing watercolor basics i can draw creativity and nature i think that is it for this issue yes that's it for this issue so i will be back um, I think, I can't remember what video I'm going to be doing next. Um, so yeah, I'll be back with another video shortly. So stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.